So we've derived e of x. Now we want to derive var of x for the discrete uniform distribution. OK. So var of x is going to require us to have e of x squared take away e of x all squared. OK. So in order to find that, I need to find e of x squared first. Now, e of x squared is going to be the sum from r equals 1 to n of r squared times each of the respective probabilities. Now, just as it was before, the probability of x being equal to r is the same as 1 over n. So, because I've got r squared times 1 over n, and 1 over n is just a constant multiplier, I can bring 1 over n outside of the summation. So I've just done a couple of steps in one go there, in a similar way to how we did that in the previous video. Now, the sum from i equals 1 to n of r squared is one of these series formulae given to us in the formula booklet. OK, so this is going to be equal to 1 over n times by 1 over 6. So this is on page 6 of the OCR MEI formula booklet. n, n plus 1. 2n plus 1. So the 1 over n cancels with the n, and we get 1 over 6, n plus 1, 2n plus 1. So that's e of x squared. Now we want var of x, which will be e of x squared, so 1 sixth n plus 1, 2n plus 1, take away e of x all squared. So that's squared. So that's 1 over 4n plus 1 squared. Now, both of these terms have n plus 1 in common, but I want to pull out the multiplier first. So we've got 1 sixth of 1 quarter, the lowest common multiple of 6 and 4 is going to be 12. So I'll factor out 1 over 12 and an n plus 1. Open up a big bracket. And what we'll have left is 2, because 2 lots of 1 12 is the sixth, times 2n plus 1. Take away 3, because 3 lots of 1 12 is the quarter, lots of n plus 1. So 1 twelfth n plus 1 times, we have 4n take away 3n, so n. Then we've got 2 lots of 1, take away 3 lots of 1. So take away 1. And so we've got 1 twelfth of n plus 1 times n minus 1, which is the same thing as 1 twelfth times n squared take away 1, or n squared take away 1 over 12. Okay, and so that's how we can derive the var of x formula.